Here are my top five deepest insecurities as a small self-improvement content creator. The first one is talking to the camera more than I talk to my people. This is a really tough one for me because I feel like I tend to talk more to myself or to God more than my own family or my own friends. And it sucks. I don't know if it's just my comfort zone, me talking to the camera. <laughs> it's a big insecurity that I have to deal with. This is a video where I really don't have that many solutions and I won't talk about how I'm going to solve this or that. I'm just going to say it as how it is. And I'm insecure about talking to the camera more than I talk to my own people. That's it. The second one is not having enough credibility in the education space. I make content helping content creators and it's a pretty weird position that I'm in, especially with someone with less than 10K followers. But I try and make it as uh, trustworthy as I can, you know, teaching skills, giving frameworks and telling my realistic story from, you know, having zero subscribers all the way to right now. And the fact that in the content creation space, especially, Credibility really depends on how many followers or subscribers you have and how big your numbers are. And I don't have those, so it really makes me insecure. <laughs> the third one is slow growth and a lack of recognition. One of my biggest fears is not ever being recognized. And, you know, it's kind of unrealistic because I think it's inevitable. Recognition is inevitable, but slow growth really does a toll to my head because you barely notice it, you know? Every day you go by, you grow by like, what, five subscribers? <laughs> and then you just don't feel like you're moving anywhere. But in reality, you are. And it's hard because we have this desire to blow up and go viral and all of these standards that social media has put inside our brains and brainwashed us with. It's just, it sucks, you know? So yeah, I'm just very insecure about growing very slowly. But surely, I guess I'm still growing a step forward as a step forward. The fourth one is fear of invading my privacy. Now, this one's a, a, an interesting one because I used to think that, you know, content is all about being authentic and stuff. And then I went through a phase where I'm like, oh no, you shouldn't invade your privacy. Don't talk about your story. And now I'm just really opening up about everything, all of my insecurities, all my struggles and shit. And I have a lot more to say. And there's still that little fear that I have inside of me where I just reveal a bit too much to the point where I'm kind of vulnerable. But at the same time, I do believe that vulnerability is secretly a strength to have. When you are so vulnerable, I don't think anyone can really do anything more. It's kind of like Eminem at the end of that eight mile movie. No one else can say shit. <laughs> and the final insecurity is obsessing over numbers instead of the process. This is one of the toughest ones that I've been going through because I think all of us have this uncontrollable desire for numbers, vanity metrics. And it sucks when you really wanna enjoy the process, you wanna appreciate the day-by-day -day journey, but you still have this fire inside of you to get results, get numbers, grow fast, go viral. And it does a toll because you feel very conflicted in your head, or at least I do. But I think the absolute truth is the journey is all that matters. I think numbers and results is so temporary because we don't really die holding our trophies. We die with our loved ones. We die with experience and we take that with us. So yeah, that's all of my insecurities in one video. I'll see you tomorrow.